Okay, I can't put this off any longer. So here we go. I'm gonna put some background music on as well. Um, I don't know what to chat about what I'm showing. Uh, or just let you ask me questions if you want to afterwards. Um, I'm gonna put some music on. It's a track that lasts uh, seven minutes, 45 seconds. So, that's the aim, to show everything in 7 minutes 45 seconds. I'm going to start off with the small ones. I'm going to start off with this one behind me, which isn't a painting. But it's something I made. Um, it's a chessboard. Um, when I was down in Falmouth, I lived with a ceramicist and fight artist, but the ceramicist uh, made these uh, test squares for uh, different glazes and I found them, just checking them out, I found them in the garden, big bag full. There were green ones and red ones and whatever, but I sorted out all the, the white and blue and um, made a chessboard. She, she um, after she saw that I'd made it, she made me chess pieces for it as well, which I've got over there. She was really cool. Okay, uh, music. Rid of the stupid hat. You'll see me changing pictures over all the time. Okay, here we go. Four small ones first. Chessboard. Um, just pause the, the video uh, if you want to take a longer look at stuff, okay? Okay, chessboard. Fairly recent picture. Uh, these are covered in glass, so I hope you can see them properly. I don't know if I just tilt it a bit, you can see them. Um, that's a picture of one of my ex-girlfriends, Rowena. I dated her when I was down in Falmouth. For two years. This is a character called Muzzle Dog. Um, I started writing a, a, a children's story. Um, I got in. Uh, I wrote, uh, wrote a few thousand words, but um, came to a halt. One of the characters. This is another one of the characters called. Double down. Can you read that or is it backwards? I don't know. Can anyone read backwards? There's another character as well, which I, I can't find the picture at the moment. It's a, called Scribble Monkey. Um, this is a very early picture I did. I did this when I was in... Kalean doing English and history degree when I was well I finished it when I was 22 I did this when I was 21 maybe one of my first pictures I always intended to have it done as a tattoo but I haven't yet okay I gotta move In no particular order. Oh, I forgot that was behind there. Um, yeah. Can you see it properly? I like the background, but I, I don't like the figure. The wings are okay, but... Yeah, the background's nice. Um, I can't remember what I called this one. I, I did this, God, about 19, 18 years ago, before I got beaten up. I like the clouds. Uh, I, I don't like much else on it. Well, the water's okay.
this one I did it at a very similar time. Uh, it looks very similar style. I've left I've left the edges blank as well. This one's called Soldier Boy. You can see there's a little boy's face in here. That's that's his closed eye. Um, dreaming of well, that's a, a big eye. So that's like an, an old Napoleonic hat. Oh god. Can you see all of that one? Just about. Um I don't like this one at all. I don't know what I was thinking, but again it's got some nice elements. I didn't think about it much, I just sort of painted and went, mm. Uh this one I like. My mum likes that one. Um, I actually had it made into a, 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 a 250 or 500 piece jigsaw one, yeah. But all the ones I've shown you so far I, I did before I got beaten up, so at least at least 17 years ago. What's next? I can hold this one closer. So I can't, I can't keep it straight. <laughs> uh, sea, coastline, the sky is nice. Uh, I don't know if this will fit. Oh, it's catching the light. Yeah, that's the varnish on it. Just, it's a. Uh, I did this one with my fingers. Wow, and the colour's gone weird on it. Uh, it's a fairy on her elbows with her head down. What did I call it? Um, ice cream fairy, I think, something like that. I call it. I, oh, I did that when I was still in Falmouth. That's one of the earliest. I was borrowed someone else's paint. Anyway. Uh, I'll show you that one in a second. Ah, you like these, baby? Maybe not. Let's get them out in the order I did them. This one I use as the the cover for my book. Um, it's a series of four. This one is called. They're, they're called. Um, Ex-girlfriends of the apocalypse. Uh, my relationships, some of them didn't. Well, they were good, I, and I, I still love all of them. I won't tell you their names because they're all based on a different girlfriend. This first one, my first girlfriend. That's the second one. My second girl. Guessed it. My third girlfriend. And my fourth. They've all got different names anyway. Well, I can't remember what that was called. Desert or something. Uh, what's next? Uh Okay. Uh, this one's a bit rude-ish, kind of. Again, varnish is getting caught. Um, I won't tell you that what this one is called, because it's a bit rude. Uh, well, I'll give you the polite version of that, that it's called the Devil's Willy. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm going to have to move it a bit because that's just about all of the smaller ones. Alright, there's one more. Uh, 
this one. Yeah. Anyway, this is the first one I did after I got beaten up and, and got back into painting. Uh, I did this one after I went back to uni in Killeen again, where I, I started doing photographic art. Um, I only was there for six months because all my funding got cut. Because um, they, they, I changed counties, they um, looked at my benefits again and, and they cut me down to zero I, and I couldn't afford to stay there. But at least I did this. It's done on photographic paper. Like you print your photographs out on in the in the darkroom. It's based on a, a kid I knew there. This one's called Kyle. Uh, okay, what's next? Sorry if I'm boring you with my chat. What? Up on bigger ones. Uh. Two more rude ones. I can't help it. I get carried away at times. Well, I, I just, they're not so rude. I, I just. Uh, this one's called Campfire. Around a kind of nudie female form. Again, I did this one about 2002, something like that. That's not bad. My, my, at that time, my, my artwork was developing a bit. Oh, this, this one, I don't even know why I'm showing you this one, because it went all wrong. In fact, I'm not going to show you it. Let's, let's get better better ones to show you. Ah! But again, rude. Uh, but this is the first one I ever did while I was still in Falmouth. Um, I, I wrote... Okay, that's, that's Nat. It's a Nat. Um, and I wrote CD... D... N R around her belly button because I wrote a bit, a bit of... Uh, a, a short bit of work to, to go with it. Um, it stands for Carbon Donor Do Not Resuscitate. Um, I'll, I'll read you the piece when I start reading you stuff. <sighs> well, the music finished, so I'm taking ages doing this. What's next? Don't worry, we're getting through them. Um, ooh, this one's too wide. Hang on. I'm drawing the camera back. I should do this anyway, because they, they do get bigger. And they're wide. That's, that's not bad. It's a come from picture I found in a newspaper. It was um, a picture of Tamsin Outhwaite swimming. Again, about 20 years ago. Um, so I've got clues with that. I'm not a great artist. Um, well, I've, I've never... I haven't got any art qualifications at all. I stopped doing art when I was... God, well, I was at the end of the third year. You know, when you take your options, I, I would have been about 14, 15 maybe. I wanted to do art, but the, the head of my year, the teacher, he um, persuaded me to do physics instead, because he told me that I wouldn't be able to go to university unless I had a qualification in physics. And of course, you believe your teachers when you're that age, uh, but it's a complete lie. Bugger. I would have done art. Maybe I'd have gone on to do art, art at sixth form and, and uni as well, who knows? That's called uh, fondant factory. That, that took me a very short time to do. I'm not sure whether I like it or not. I don't think so. 
Anyway, I'm loading up one. Oh yeah, I'll show you this one because this one's funny. I'm not sure what I was thinking when I did this either. You can see what I mean. Um. Yeah. Uh, who knows? A lot of it's done in crayon. Some interesting bits around here. But. Okay, we're we're rocking and rolling. We're steaming on. Now, oh god, this is going to be tricky. There's loads of words on this, so I'm going to have to get you closer again. So you might be able to read some of it. Ah. I don't know, can you read that? What it was, I was, um, I did a, a poem on a bit of paper. And I was crossing out, making corrections, changing words, blah, 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 blah. And I went on and on and on and on until the end. It was just a mess that I couldn't make out what it said anyway. Um, but this kind of sums it up. Kiste spilt fascinations, a frame of concentration that strains to contain a poem, that drains from a conception of perfect rhyme and meter and leaves a thick residue of the earth. So at least it came to something. Uh, what's next? There's not many more to go. Well, uh, well more than I thought. On the poetry theme, uh, this was a painting done by um, my girlfriend Rowena at the time down in Falmouth. Um, she did the, the pictures. She was putting lipstick on people's nipples and then taking prints of them. And I, I wrote the words that she copied down and, and used. Breast bared to brush, lent in chest tip or crust. Crushed careful blush into love took a touch on another. Kissed undercover. Smudging lips stay one quick lick away. Yeah, man. It's difficult to see, isn't it? Okay, we're getting that. This one's got glass as well. Oh, there we go. Uh, it's called States because it looks like the bald eagle that the United States has as, a, as its emblem. Um, it's actually a, a sketch I did in a pub. There was a, a girl sitting on a bench. That's the edge of the bench. That's kind of her butt. That was her leg. Pint in her hand. She hasn't got a head for some reason, but she had her elbow on one arm, and and this was the tape. Oh, and this one, I when I was down in Falmouth, someone gave me a whole pack of soil samples that someone had dug out of a, a mine or something. I don't know how they got hold of them. And I, I used them, I glued them on and did a picture in rock, basically. Uh, quite interesting. I quite like it. I found it in my cupboard again. I forgot it, didn't I? I'm not even sure that's the right way up. Must be. Yeah, must be. That's the way. That's the way. This one I really like. This one I started playing around again. Doing my playing around with paint phase. Um, what do I call this one? Pillage. A little princess. This is kind of Viking-ish. Well, make of it what you want. Make of it what you want. Ah. 
Um, I've done this on a few plain tins. The white face in the background um, was done by my ex Rowena again, um, which gave it to me. And then years later, I, uh, I painted all the detail on the front. Uh -oh. How many pages have I done that with? Oh, that um, Devil's Willy one. I put the scaffolding and the woman on that as well, so that was done by Rowena. It's um, quite fun working on bits that other people have started. Here's another one. I call this one magic. That's the way up I like it. It was done by my friend and a farmer called Matt. And it was just uh, green and blue and there was no detail on it at all, at all, at all. Um, so I painted over it. That's the way I like it up, but that's the way I painted it, and it works both ways up. I got to the end. Got to the end. There we go. There's a snake down the bottom. Uh, and a pig and a dog and a flying thing something and a spaceman anyway mm -hmm. ba, ba, ba. And my three lakeless ones another rudy one well it doesn't look rude it's cold It's, it's called Burning Breast. Um, another one. I'm not sure why I did it. All of these in here are breasts that I cut out of my, my brother's magazines years ago. I bet he was pleased about that. Never did ask him. Oh yes, that's another one. I, I got to get this framed. On paper. What do I have record this one? I can't remember. Face. Head out of the way. Um, there's a pig. I'll show you that I did it at the same time. Okay, only four more to go. Five, six, and some on the computer. Maybe about ten to go. One of my favourites, this one hangs above my bed. Donkey. Um, came about purely by accident. I had the board outside in the blue paint, and I threw it on, and I was smashing it on, hoping that something would come out of it. These are sort of the areas. I left it outside standing up and it dried and then when I, I looked at it again next day I think it was I could, I could see this donkey head in, in, in all the mush so I rubbed all the paint around it um, and gave him an ear and it works really nice yeah completely by chance I'm really happy with that Uh, my favourite one next. This one I did at real speed. Um, that's why I like it so much because I, all the other, I labour over. And this one, I was just throwing paint at it. I did this in a few short hours, and at the same time I painted it. Some of my old friends were here as well. I even got the, got them to... I'd done it all. And I said, it's missing something, it's missing something. And I said, it needs something down here. What colour shall I use? And one of them went, uh, green. And I went, green it is. And so that's green down there. Called Cave. That one's been up to London. Uh, exhibition I was going to up there. 
the next one. I'm not sure how many people have actually ever seen this one. Maybe he likes catching it again. in Wonderland kind of thing. There's, there's Alice there. Teddy bears. Can you see the rabbit? Ooh. Cupcakes. Spaceship. Um, that was fun. That was fun doing that one. Uh, I'll put all clips of that. I think you'd have to see it in person. To... But yeah. Ah, and this is the one I'm working on at the moment. I just realised there's terrible music on here. Land of hope and glory. Hang on. Okay. Oh, that's better. Um. Yeah, this one. Um, this is one I've been working on for about twenty years. I did this corner first. And then move that way and then over the last few weeks I've done in here and the wing I'd already done the, the head and the trees and the tongue but I did the bird and I colored her face in and put the, the fence up and did the white there and put the poem there and put the towel there and the little shower brush there um, and I still got loads of other things I want to do I want to tidy up this corner um, God knows how long it'll take I, I've got to paint over the letters I've put on uh, to make them whiter um, put some colour in it maybe I'll show you the wing the wing, wing is interesting because I, I stuck it on can you see it's all little devil letters Lots of detail. I don't know if you can read that as well. That's another bit of po one of my poems. And so much medi so much mediation. She is a dispensed script to be taken as required, drowned in a delicate sip. Oh, there's that bird. Okay, um, there's not much else to show you now. Ah, there's a big one over here. Let me take you off this. Okay. Whew, form work. Um, there's a big one over here. Can you see? Um, that one. The canvas was bare, and when my f old friends were here God, 20 years ago, I stuck it out and I gave them loads of paints and I said, right, why don't you guys have some fun and paint on this? So th they half-heartedly had a go and sort of painted around the edge. Uh, and then they gave up. So I... I tidied up the edges, put the tree, blah de blah and then it had to have something stuck in the middle, so I painted the donkey and uh, put snow around him. It's not great. Oh, it's not great. Um, 
And here is a picture of all my little, well, the best drawings I'd done um, up until about 20 years ago. I've got a whole other set of doodles and pictures to, to show you some other time. Some of them are good. Um, one in the top corner I did when I was sitting in a pub. Um, and that's the first time I, I, I did a, a picture of, of someone's face pop. I was so happy that I managed to draw that. Um, one in the middle there I like. One in the bottom here I like. Um, yeah, there's some, but I, I put too much varnish. Look what I did. I put too much varnish on it. And didn't let it dry properly while it was sitting down so it, it's puddled and kind of spoiled it really but never mind not important oh right i want to show you some last things because over the years some of my paintings have disappeared because I've given them away as presents. Um, are they being damaged? They, yeah, one of them was. Um, so I'll put on a slideshow and you can have a look at the ones that have gone. Uh, can you see that? That's another one of my poems. I'll tilt it a bit. I have a voice that I keep for you, a tone that I own that makes words brand new, a sound from my soul that speaks above a, the place in my heart that feels true love. It's like a, a soppy um, Valentine's card or something. I, 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 I'm not happy with that poem because it's, it's like a terrible Valentine's card or something. Here we go. There's that one. This is going to roll back quite fast, so... As Angel, I worked on that again and destroyed it. Um, that's one of a picture in a book called Oh, there's a fish that did that at the same time as that face. Oh, there's that drawing that I did up there in the pub. Um, I've got to show you that one because that's done with ink. That's a Mother's Day present I did for my mum, it's downstairs. And that's a pig that I gave to my last girlfriend and it no longer exists. I don't know why I put that one on there, but there we go. That's one of the drawings on, on the picture behind me. And so is that one. Okay. I'm hot and sweaty now. Hot and sweaty. And that is that. Well, <clears throat> get away from the light. I hope you in enjoyed the exhibition. Um, do come again. Oh yes, uh, there's uh, cheesy snacks and uh, some cheap plonk uh, around the corner if you'd like to stay and, and, and chat with the artist a little longer. He's willing to uh, sign his name on a somewhere it won't be worth anything but there we go um, no well I just do it for fun uh, my paintings are a bit amateurish um, I prefer my poetry um, my family prefer my photos so out of the three I think Well, my, my latest paintings, uh, they're getting better, I suppose. Um, but out of the three of my disciplines, I think this is, is probably the least least favourite of the three. But there we go. Okay, um, I'm sorry this has run on. It's been going on for ages and ages. Um, at least you can skip through if you want to, all the boring bits. I will do more stuff. Um, I've been trying to film the, the birds at the bird feeders. 
but my cameras didn't work the first day I tried. So I tried again today, but I haven't reviewed it all yet. So hopefully sometime soon I'll be able to put some uh, footage of birds feeding on as well. That'd be nice. I hope you're all taking care of yourselves. What strange times we're having at the moment. Very strange times. But it will be over soon. So, right, everyone, take care of yourselves. Um, I'm sorry I've waffled on so much. It's hard. I find it hard trying to kind of do this because it, it's such a personal thing. Uh, I suppose the one that was really myself when I was chatting about them, I just went off on one. Well, you know me, I'm not like that anyway. Um, it's kind of fun. Okay, take care of yourselves, everyone, uh, and hopefully I'll see you all soon. When this is over, we can get back to some kind of normality, okay? I love you all. Bye-bye for now.